Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. How's it Good going? Evening, Ana Maria, Maide, Roberto, hello, Teresa, hello. Elias. Okay, I was having some, some issues with Zoom, but I solved it. So everything is okay now. So welcome to the final week. Um, how are you feeling today? How was your weekend? What do you do? Something that you want to share with us? Something new, something cool, something interesting. Maybe something that you learned about English. Anyone? Isaac, welcome. So, Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, I have a good, a good weekend. Nice. And on Saturday, I visit wow. my parents. And Sunday, I was painting my sister's house. Oh, interesting. Yes. Painting is really cool. A little bit tiring, but it's, it feels good after you see the results. Okay, what about you, Ana Maria? I'm fine, thank you. And you, teacher? Great. Excited. Um, yeah, I had a good weekend too. Let me see, my day. Hello, teacher. Hello. My hello. Hello. My weekend is Saturday in the morning mm -hmm. to the go work. Okay. I work, I work. In the in the afternoon. Um, I descansé. I rested. I rested in uh, wash, washing my cereals. I wash my wash my cereals. In the in the Sunday, solamente descansé. Okay. I rested I did the housework. The housework, the housework. Let me check. Thank you for sharing. Doing housework is one of the most important activities on the weekend, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's see, Elena and Sonia, welcome. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's check. Uh, Elias, did you have a good weekend? I work. Uh, Saturday and Sunday or just Saturday? Todo el fin de semana. All weekend. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so uh, do you have a day off sometimes or no? Elias? No. Do you have a day off sometimes or you don't? Sería. ¿Tiene algún día libre? Los domingos, pero como por la temporada escolar. Ah. Mm -mm. uh... The school season, yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm sorry, man. Hopefully that, well, hopefully this month you can finish that and you can rest a little bit. And hopefully they can pay you a little bit more, right? Some extra money, that would be good. Um, <laughs> Ana Maria. Uh, thank you, teacher. 
perdón, teacher, no había escuchado lo que me preguntó. Ah, <laughs> I, asked you, I asked you about the weekend. How was your weekend? What okay. you did? Uh -huh. Entonces, yeah, sí. Uh, I work, I work in my house. Um, uh -huh. I wash, cook, uh, clean, and I help to my daughter in her homework. Mm, okay. And, and watch TV. Very and, good. And I help to my daughter um, in her class. In, in, in her classes class. too. Uh -huh, her mm -hmm. English classes. Very good. Thank you for sharing, Ana Maria. Um, let's see who else. Who's next? Uh, Teresa. Good night. Hello. Good night. And Good evening. Saturday I work and Sunday and today is my day off. Good. Okay. And what do you normally do when you have days off? And do you rest? Only sleep and watching TV. Okay. So yeah, you relax a lot. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Teresa. We continue with Elena. Or Sonia. <laughs> Elena, hello. Uh huh. So, quickly, how was your weekend and what do you do? Uh, I wash my clothes or I did the laundry. Mm -hmm. That's laundry. how you say it. Mm -hmm. You did the laundry. Uh, celebration. Ah, yeah. you had a birthday celebration. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, thank you for sharing, Elena. Sonia, what about you? Alba, Miguel, and Jesse, welcome to the class. Sonia, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello. Hello. The activities. Uh huh, exactly. Um, I'll visit um, my family. Um, uh, cook and I went shopping at supermarket. Okay, you went to a supermarket, got it. Only teacher. Only that. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, Alba, how about you? Well, on hello, <laughs> on hello. Saturday I I went to I went to to pay the bills. I went to okay. pay the bills and clean clean the house and cooked. And, cooked. and yesterday the same. The and same. did the, the and I did the the homework and the platform. Uh huh. The and platform. Ah yes, I I went to the to the mass. I went to the church. Nice. Um. What else? What ah, else, what else? and I and I went to to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's it, that's it. Thank you so much, Alba, you had a busy weekend. Miguel, how about you? Hello. And Manuel is back. Welcome, good night, Manuel. teacher. Hello, good evening. Um, weekend's day, uh, after work, usually watch Netflix. Okay. Uh, weekend, I go to the supermarket, I go to the church. We go nice. somewhere where and beach or park. Or to the park. Okay, very good. 
Uh, thank you, Miguel. Jancy, you're next. Good evening. Good evening. And um, and weekend, uh, I work only. And after the work, I uh, go on my home and dinner with my family and see movie. And you watch a movie. Okay, yeah. very good. Um, let's see. Well, watching movies is a good is a good hobby that you can practice, right? Because you have more time on the weekend. Um, let's see who's next, Victoria. And then we finish with Manuel. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, on Saturday, on Saturday uh, in the morning, I worked until 12. Then I went to my, my home and take care of my son. At night, we went to eat pupusa with my family. And Sunday, mm -hmm. I, I clean the house. I do homework with my son and take a rest and play with my son, wash clothes mm -hmm. in the machine, clothes, yeah. wash machine. Uh, the washing machine, yeah. The washing machine. And what else? Um, I prepared all things uh, for the for Monday. Yeah, for today, right? Got it. Yes, uh, for today, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Monday, the famous Monday, Monday right? Monday. Today, today. It's not everybody's favorite day, but yes, uh, we have to start the week one day, right? So Monday is the chosen one. Manuel. Long time no see. Good night. Eh, vengo llegando ahorita como ha estado un poquito desfasado, eh, teacher. Eh, I know. Estamos el, 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 lo que se hace el día sábado. Mm -hmm. The weekend, yeah. What do you do on the weekend? Um, the weekend, full weekend, I working to uh, full day. On the seven seven uh, o'clock a.m. and um, six p.m. from work. seven to six, from seven to six. Yeah. Yes, um, six and nine. Uh, the, um, on the uh, on the. Uh, on the roof, um, my house, um, and night, um, eight at night, uh, plus, uh, plus, eh, come on. First plus what? English. Plus English. Ah, okay, okay. Um, uh, night, 10 p.m., uh, English, uh, come on, as this class, uh, Excel class. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Manuel. It's good to see you. And uh, well, we're ready to get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be sharing the screen with you. Carla, welcome, good evening. And uh, as you remember last week, we were completing the activities from the section four. Okay, so you should be finished with the section four on the platform. As they told you in the WhatsApp group, right? It is necessary that you complete the activities, the exercises from, uh, let's say from homework one, right? Until homework four, we're finishing, uh, well, in the midterm, uh, we are finishing the section five this week. And, um, the last one, the final exam, right? You're going to be taking it as well this week. So it is necessary that you catch up so that you can continue to the next module, okay? Uh, some the majority of you have worked on the platform and I want to congratulate you for that, right? Because I see that you have been working, uh, completing the activities. So that's really, really good. Um, and right now, I'm going to share the screen because I didn't send you the picture, but we took some pictures at the end of the last week. 
Okay, here is a little picture in a normal pose, right? And then we, we tried to have a crazy picture, but <laughs> it wasn't too crazy, okay? It was just a cool picture. Um, so it was great to be with you one more week. And this week is the last one. So we have to do everything that we are missing, right? All the pending activities. If you didn't complete a quiz, if you didn't complete a, let's say a, a piece of homework, you have to do it, okay? Uh, the faster, the better, the faster, the better. So um, today we are going to start with the section five that it's basically tell me about your family. But before, before we go to that, we are going to have a little uh, vocabulary check, okay? We're going to have a little vocabulary check so that uh, you copy uh, in your notebook all the vocabulary that you remember about family members. So in your notebook, you are going to write all the family members that you remember in English. No dictionaries, no Google, no translators, just what you remember. If you remember sister, you write sister. If you remember brother, you write brother. Okay, you will have exactly one minute and a half. One minute and a half. I'm going to show you uh, the counter on this on the screen, the time watch. Okay, here I will show it to you on the on the camera. Okay, so you will have one minute and a half to write down as many family members that you remember in English. Okay all the vocabulary that you remember about family members in English. Ready, set, and then you're going to tell me how many words you have, okay? Ready, set, and go. So your time starts now. And there goes the time. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of complicated to show it on the screen, but yes, I'm taking the time. Write down the vocabulary you remember, like mother, grandfather, wife, it's not Wi Fi. Okay, you have 30 seconds more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Quickly, how many words did you get? Please count how many words you have. Uh, Manuel, how many words do you have? 12. 10, nine. Okay, Teresa, 12. You can write it in the chat. I have 12, I have nine. Okay, or I got seven. It's okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Elias, how many words do you remember? This is good exercise, it's a little exercise that is very good for the memory, okay? To remember some words. Okay, Elias at six, Victoria. Eighteen, okay, my day. Ana Maria, Miguel. Roberto, Teresa, Isaac, Sonia, Alba, Jancy, and Carla. You can share your final number of words related to family members. Okay, 12, very good. 10, nice. 
13, 6. Rodrigo, welcome. Uh, right now, your, your classmates completed a little activity. Uh, so, wait, the two. Uh, completed a little activity where they wrote down uh, all the words they remember about family members. Okay? Father, mother, brother, sister, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so the winner right now, Ana Maria, my dear, thank you for sharing. Teresa, very good. Manuel, too. So the winner, let's say if it is a competition, would be Victoria. So Victoria, can you please share with us the vocabulary that you have? Can you tell us? Yes, of course. Um, I have sister, brother, son, daughter, grandfather, grandmother, niece, nephew, uh -huh. husband, wife, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, grandson, mother-in-law, father-in-law, father, mother, aunt, uncle. Uncle, okay. Awesome, okay. So I'm glad for everybody, but especially to Victoria this time. So you got the victory, Victoria. <laughs> um, she mentioned the majority of the words, right? There are some other words that maybe we can include here. For example, how would you say um, hermanastro? Does anybody know? Brother-in-law? No, that would be cuñado. Another one? Hermanastro, okay. Uh-huh, hermanastro, that's correct. It's, it's the brother. <laughs> Step brother, step brother, very good. Step brother, that's correct. Step brother, step sister, step mother, step uh, father, right? So we have a lot of step relatives. In law, step. in law, uh, is for. Uh, how can I tell you? For family that I mean that your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife have. So for example, uh, if I am married, for example, let's suppose that I, I am I get married, my wife's mother is is my mother in law. If and her dad is going to be my father in law. So the in-law is the family uh, on your couple's side, let's say. So um, stepfather, stepbrother is the, the family that you have, uh, for example, that is not from your, from the same father and mother, right? So I have, for example, uh, one sister and one brother that I can, I mean, that are from my mom, right? Like we are in the same home and everything, but um, my father has and had, let's say, other children in another country, et cetera, et cetera. So they are my step siblings, my step sister, my step brother. I have in total, I have, I think four, four step siblings. So that would be. I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. yep. ¿Cómo, se, ¿Cómo se pronuncia eh, sobrino, sobrina? Ah, excellent. That would, for the boy is nephew, for the girl is niece. Niece. Nephew, nephew uh -huh. niece. and niece. That's correct. Wait, wait. and nice, it's okay. not nice, it's niece, <laughs> like that. I have a okay. question. Nephew and niece, uh huh Cuando dice yes. siblings es cuando está revuelto hermana y hermano. Siblings is uh -huh, when you have brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Instead of saying brothers and sisters, you can say siblings. Like that. You got it? Step, stepfather or stepmother. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, now uh, we continue with the presentation. So that was just a little um, reminder, right? A little activity to check how much you remember about the topic. 
So do that kind of activity every time that you can. If you want to check your vocabulary, for example, something that I tell my students, okay, maybe at home you, you can take a notebook, a piece of paper and think for one minute, how many words do I know related to jobs or professions? How many words do I know related to animals, to food, to furniture, to electronic appliances, to vocabulary in the house, in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the living room? How many words do I know related to office supplies? How many words do I know about transportation, right? Or means of transportation, the parts of the car. How many parts of the car do I know in English? About the computer, right? How many parts of the computer do I know? Uh, so with that, those kinds of exercises, um, you can check how much you know and how much you need to learn or to refresh, okay? Um, or for example, vocabulary with the letters of the alphabet. How many words do you know with the letter L? And then you start thinking about words that begin with the letter L, right? So like that. Um, that's a tip that I can share with you about vocabulary. Um, if you don't know, then you investigate, right? And this is the first exercise, okay, about the, the section five. It's the, tell me about your family. There's a family tree here uh, that belongs to Sam, okay? How are these people related to Sam? How are they related to him? So you are going to include the family, the list that appear here, that appears here, and write each, well, the correct family member in the correct space, in the correct space. For example, uh, Andy is Sam's grandfather. So if I write it in text, okay, this is what I said, Andy is, Sam, apostrophe S for the possessive, remember? The possessive noun, Sam's grandfather. How do you translate this sentence? How do you translate this sentence? Andy is Sam's grandfather into Spanish. Uh, Andy es el abuelo de Sam. Andy es el abuelo de Sam. Okay, excellent. Uh, on the scramble, the following sentences. Okay, so there are some questions about. I oh, no, never mind. It's in our in our group. Um, Helen has some connection problems. Oh, that's a shame. Well, uh, we're going to check here. The question is, who is Marta related to Sam? Who is Marta? Marta is Sam's grandmother. Uh, uh -huh. Marta is Sam's grandma, right? You can say grandma or grandmother. That's correct. Marta is Sam's grandma or grandmother? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. That's right. Very good. So. Grandmother, we have Chris and we have Sarah. Uh, Sarah is his mother, who is Chris? Father. Father. His father, okay, his, his father. father, his father. Okay, the possessive, right? The possessive adjective, his father, yes. his father, excellent. Okay, Donna is his aunt. So Manuel is his uncle. His uncle. 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 Correct. Don't say ankle, right? Because ankle is Tobio. Oh. Uncle. Okay. So that would be the word here. Here you said uh, feather. And on the other side, you mentioned that Manuel is his uncle. uncle. It's okay. not his ankle, right? <laughs> okay, let's continue with, okay, here is Sam, right? Sam is the husband and Yumiko is his 
his wife. Wife or, or wife? Huh? <laughs> wife. His wife. Okay. Wife. She's her his connection, right? His Wi-Fi. No. Okay, his wife. That's correct. So Jim is his brother. Who is Lisa? Sister. Lisa is his sister. Bro, he's his sister. His sister, correct. Now, Donna and Manuel have one daughter. And their daughter's name is Teresa. Yeah. Who is Teresa related to? How is Teresa related to Sam? Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, creo que si, eh, Lisa no es sister. Brother. No sé si sería and... sister in law. Sí, es la cuñada. Wait a Teresa second. Ah, oh, yeah, we don't have we don't we don't have the option sister in the in the vocabulary. You're right. So this should be a uh, sister in law. So Lisa is Jim's wife, right? So Lisa is yeah. is sister in law. in law. Very good. Yeah, we don't have sister in the options. So it's sister in law. It's not sister. law. It's law. Like L O, right? Law, sister in law. Okay, excellent. So, Theresa is Sam's. Sam's. Cousin. Yes. Cousin. Yes. Cousin. Yes. Cousin. 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 That would be? Cousin. Prima, right? Very Prima. good. So we say the same, cousin for boy and for girl, cousin, okay? My cousin Josue, my cousin uh, Margarita, okay? My cousin. Then we have Kelly and Jimmy. Who are they? Kelly is Sam's niece. 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 It's not nice, it's niece, okay, correct. <laughs> Sorry. No, don't worry, don't worry. Niece, niece and nephew that's right so this is sam's family okay now what you're going to do is to have a little conversation with your classmate with your partner with one classmate i am going to send you to the breaker room and you are going to talk a little bit about your family i am going to show you i am going to show you uh, how you're going to be doing that. Wait a second. Okay. So basically you are going to um, just share a little bit about your family. If you want, if you want only focus about your close family. Okay, only focus on your close family. Maybe the people who live with you, right? So in my case, for example, I, I'm having a conversation with Emilio, right? My, my imaginary friend. Um, so Emilio, I, I, in my house, I, maybe Emilio is asking me a question, right? Like, who do you live with? Uh, well, I live with my mother. Um, her name is Margarita. Uh, with, I live with my sister, my younger sister. Uh, she's uh, 31 years old. And my nephew, he's 10 years old. His name is Marcelo. And um, also live with my dog and my cat because they are part of my family. So I have to mention them. Okay, so um, my dog's name is Rocky and my cat's name is Tigre. So um, that's what I can tell you about my family and myself, right? My name is Freddie and um, I, am, uh, I am the oldest of the three children that my mom has. So um, that's what I can tell you about my family, okay? So in the conversation, you can ask more questions, right? Like, uh, for example, uh, what is your father's name or what was your father's name, whatever. So, or for example, do you have a large family or you have a small family, right? So. It's all about family, but it's a quick conversation. Ready? I am going to give you just two minutes, okay? Talk about 
the people that live with you, right? Uh, people who live with you. And um, all the conversation is about family. If you want, if you have extra questions, you can ask. Let me check. I am going to send you to the breakout rooms in three, two, one, go. Accept the invitation, please. Okay, Victoria, well, it's here. Excellent, Elias, are you there? Yes, perfect. All right, Ana Maria, hello. I'm your hello. partner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ana Maria, um, who do you live with? Um, perdón, teacher, no le entendí muy bien la indicación is who do you live with at home? Who do you live with? Ah, okay, okay. I live with my daughter, mm -hmm. with my father and my mother. Ah, okay, and what is your daughter's name? My daughter's name is Andrea Sofia. Andrea Sofia, wow, that's a beautiful name. And how <laughs> old is you. she? She is eight years old. Eight. And what about your parents? What can you tell me about them? Mm. Oh. <laughs> their name is their age. My my mother's name is Sonia. Okay, your mother's name is Sonia and six. Two years, no, 16, two years old. 62 years old, okay. 62 years old. And my father's name is Jose. Mm -hmm. and, she, and he's years old. Uh, six, uh, 70, 72 years old. 72 years old. Yes. Okay, so they have a 10 year difference, right? 62 and 72. Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, and you, right? So um, do you have a, a large family or no. you have, or your family is small? My, my family is small. Small? Small. You don't have a lot of cousins, a lot of uncles or aunts. Um, Nephews. Ah, I have, I have cousin, aunt. Uh, I don't have um. I don't have grandparents and grandmother. Con vida, no sé cómo decirle. Alive, 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 alive. alive. Okay. No, 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 I don't alive. Mm -hmm. I, my parents are, or you can say my gra grandparents are not alive, are not, not alive. alive. And do you have sisters or brothers? Do you have siblings? Ah, uh, yes, I have two sisters. Ah, okay. She, she's 30, no, 13. 30? No, no sé cuántos años tiene mi hermana. <laughs> okay, you can say she's 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 around thirty. She's around thirty. Ah, uh, around uh, mm -hmm. yes, around thirty, like <laughs> approximately, right? Okay, excellent. Thank you for sharing, Ana Maria. It was really nice. Okay. Thank you. Talking to you. See you later.
All right. Did everybody have the chance to talk a little bit about his or her family? You can show a reaction to say yes, like thumbs up or a heart or a happy face or claps. Okay, good. So uh, Rodrigo says yes, we had enough time to finish. Okay, the rest of your classes are coming back now. Perfect. Ah, okay, excellent question. How do you say ama de casa? One of the most common, um, one of the most common words that that we have is housewife. Uh, that would be one of the most common words that we use for that. Ama de casa, housewife. Um, now let's move on. We are going to practice conversation, okay? You had a conversation right now about your family, but this is a conversation between Rita and Sue. Um, they are asking about each other's family. Okay, so you're just going to listen, right? Yeah, like Desperate Housewives. That's a TV show, that's correct. So listen and repeat, right? You don't have to turn on your microphone, just uh huh. how do you say madre soltera anybody who knows how to say that single mother <laughs> single mother know. or single mom that's correct single mother or single single mom very good if you have any question remember about the language you can ask about the platform you can ask about the class, you can ask. Don't feel afraid. Well, I suppose that by this time, you don't feel afraid anymore. We are in the session number, what, 12? So, well, 13, that would be 13. Uh, so we're missing just three more uh, after today, and that's it. You're free and you're ready for the module two. Now, um, tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? What does she do? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. She's working on a very secret project right now working on a working on a you can see the link sounds here she's working on a very secret project right now wow and what about your brother he's a what wow and what about your brother he's a wildlife photographer or you can say photographer if you want he's a wildlife photographer what an interesting family can I meet them? What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no. My sister is a, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. Um, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Traveling in, right? He's traveling in the Amazon, traveling in the Amazon. So this is about the conversation. Right now, you are going to go to the breakout rooms and practice with a specific classmate. But before that, I would like to listen to two volunteers, okay? To check that everything is okay, that you don't have any questions or inconvenience with the pronunciation. So Teresa and Rodrigo, thank you. After we come back, we're going to listen to Miguel and somebody else. Okay, so Teresa, uh, you're Rita, and Rodrigo, you are Sue. Okay. Okay. One, two, and three. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? 
is a wildlife photo photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister away. She's not working. In the United States this month. This month. And your brother? He's traveling in, in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Excellent. Reactions for them. Very good. Thank you, guys. Um, as I said, after we come back from the breakout rooms, we're going to listen to Miguel and another volunteer. So we're going to break our rooms. You can take a screenshot, please. A uh, screenshot of the conversation. Okay, it's right there. And ready, set, here we go. Break our rooms, let me check. Okay. So we are 15, okay. So let me recreate the breakout rooms. So we have enough, seven, okay. Here we go, one, two, okay, very good. So I'm going to make a little modification here. We go to room two, one, two, one, two, very good. There you go. So one, two, and three. You will have exactly four minutes beginning now. You practice the two roles, okay? One is Rita and then you change and you are Sue. Puedo compartir. Yo tampoco. <risa> Pero si la tiene usted. Sí. Ah, sí, ah, vaya. Ah, pues. Ajá. Sí, así no, podemos problema. practicar. Ajá. Ok. 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 So you have a screenshot? Yes. 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 Ok. Perfect. Ok. I'm Rita. Ok. Was with life photographer what's an interesting family can i meet them um no my sister away she's not working in the united states this month and your brother he's traveling in the amazon okay now we'll you will start okay yeah. we change tell tell me about photographer what what an interesting family can i meet them who hello did you finish no okay so let's do a quick practice um well elena or maybe you can practice with uh miguel when we go back to the session so uh, quickly, let's do a little practice. You are Rita and I will be, well, I am Rita and you will be Sue. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Okay, espérame. Solo, es que hay una cosita que está en la pantalla que no me permite ver, pero no sé si darle cancelar o en la otra parte que dice pedir ayuda. Cancel. Well, my sister works for the government. Okay, uh, what does she do? I am not sure. She works working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He is working for the government. Photographer. Photographer. Wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no, my sister is not working in the United States 
this month. Ah, uh, and your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's, okay, very good. So that's the way that you do it. Uh, we're going to go back to the session and you are going to be Rita, okay? Miguel will be Sue. All right, so we're done with the practice. I hope that it was enough for you to check pronunciation, check fluency and the structure, right? Uh, as well as intonation. That are some of the aspects that we have been studying in the previous weeks. So right now we are going to give the chance to uh, Elena and Miguel, okay? To practice the conversation. And after them, we're going to have a chance for one more, okay? One more pair of students or volunteers. So right now, uh, Elena, you're going to be Rita and Miguel, you are going to be Sue. Okay. Okay, ready, set, go. Uh, tell me about your brother and the sister, please. Well, my sister worked for the government. Uh, oh. What does she do? What does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Uh huh. Oh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. Mm -hmm. And your brother? He's a traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, excellent. Class for you too, guys. Thank you, Miguel and Elena. And we have time just for one more practice. So two more volunteers, please, who would like to do the conversation. Sonia, thank you. And who's gonna practice with Sonia? Soveda, okay. Soveda was the fastest here. Uh, ready, set, and uh, Sonia, you're Rita. Soveda, you will be Sue. One, two, and three. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister worked for government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She worked on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He is a Wi-Fi photographer. What an interesting family. I can meet them. And I meet oh, them. Oh no, my sister away. She not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. He's traveling in the Amazon, that's right. Okay, and the reactions for them. S'il vous plaît, Monsieur et Mademoiselle. Okay, excellent. We're going to go with the tara this time. Uh, all right, due to time, I'm going to go straight to the last part of today's session about pronunciation. I just have to mention that here they focus on that, the fact that the majority or, or in most cases, the statements usually have falling intonation. The majority of the sentences start like this and then they go down as they finish. For example, I'm working in Singapore. She's waiting at the bus stop. They're living at home. So we, we do this with the intention of uh, making it clear that we are finishing the sentence. Because if you say, I'm working in Singapore, okay, we expect more, right? Si es al revés, si la entonación va hacia arriba, se siente como que la, va a continuar la oración o la idea. 
I am working in Singapore. Uh huh. But. Y qué más, right? And what else? Uh, no. <laughs> Solo lo quería decir. Just that. Ah, I'm working in Singapore. Okay, so you get the, the, the feeling that it's over, right? I'm working in Singapore. That's it, you finish the sentence. So you have to pay attention to that, right? Um, and about the, the pronunciation, something that uh, you are going to notice when you listen to Native Americans, well, native speakers of the United States, let's say, is that they use the reduction of sound or the uh, linking sounds. In this case, for example, when you, when you ask the question, can I meet them? It's separated, meet them. But you are going to listen that the majority of the US citizens uh, would say something like this. Can, can I meet them? Meet them? Like the them, they just pronounce it as M and the T is pronounced as R. Can I meet him? Can I see him? See him? For example, see verlo él. See him, right? We say that when we're learning the language here in Latin America. Can I see him? But native native speakers would say, Can I see him? See him? See him? So they eliminate the H sound instead of saying, Tell her. That dile a ella, tell her, they say, tell her, tell her, tell her that I love, that I love her, tell her that I love her, dile que la quiero, all right, tell her that I love her, tell her that I love her, love her, so they make that reduction of, or elimination of sounds, so that's one thing, and um, the other thing is the, what I told you, right, photographer, they say photo, photographer, Right, that would be more common in the United States. Photographer, uh, not so common to say photographer. They understand, but it's not the, the normal way they speak. And so just for your information, right? FYI, and that's it, okay? We're going to finish with this. Um, this is a little quiz, let's say. What is the relation bet between these people, between these two, between these two, between these two, between these two? So let's see which one you know. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta Jones. What, are, what is the relationship? Two actors. Mm, no. Oh, Catherine Zeta Jones is the wife of Michael Douglas. Is Michael Douglas' wife. Okay, so they are a couple, they are married. Uh -huh. Aha, what about, what about Enrique Iglesias and Julio Iglesias? What is the relationship between them? In father and son. Father and son. Enrique Iglesias is, um, Julio uh -huh. Iglesias son. Yes, uh, so we have father and son. Yes? What about Francis Ford Coppola and Nicolas Cage? What is the relationship? I don't know. I, me either. <laughs> I don't know. I don't ah. know who is Francis Ford. He's a, a, let's say, a director. He's a director, Francis Ford Coppola. No idea? Nicolas Cage is his nephew. Okay. Um, what ah. about Annette Benning and Shirley McLean? Google. Who is Annette Benning? Uh -huh. She's an actress. What is the relationship that she has with Shirley MacLaine? I really don't know. No idea? No idea. No idea. Uh, hmm. Somebody else? Someone who knows about the, the celebrity's life? Hmm. 
Somebody's Googling right now, I know. So? Tick tock, tick tock. Nope. No, sister. Sister, okay. So um, yeah, that would be a relationship they have in there. So we have different relations in these four examples here. And um, now we're going to move on because of time, let's say, um, about the platform. Let me stop sharing this and just share what's going on on the platform. Here, okay. So uh, right here, you should be done. You should be done with the, the section four should be over. The last one that you're going to be doing for the section four, it's, I think it's right. Okay, wait a second. The connection is a little slow. So for example, we have this reading about Christina Aguilera, right? So you got to read the article and then just number the sentences from the first event, number one, to the last event, number eight. Um, then you have the reading there, it's clear, right? Um, and you organize them, right? So you see, for example, she sings at the Winter Olympic Games. What order is that? Then you have to select if it is the number one, number two, number three, or number eight. So you go all the way to the letter H. Then, for example, I'm going to say that letter H is number four. And I click, see the answer. As a teacher, I can do that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So, no, it's not the event number four. It's event number six. She has her first very successful song. Okay. I think it was Ginny in a Bottle, right? Ginny in a Bottle, that was the first famous song. Okay. Um, now we're going to, uh, well, Lady Marmalade is mentioned there. Wait a second, it's loading, loading, loading. Okay, so then as uh, so we are finishing this week with the section five, what I wanted to uh, tell you is that if you can do more than one assignment per day is the ideal. Why? Because we have different activities, okay? We have different activities. Over here, you have the reading, the changing family, that is the last one, okay? So you have one, two, and three. So for instance, the, this one is knowledge check, is about the family tree. It's very easy. We finished that, we did that at the beginning of the class, right? We were talking about the relation they have with Sam. So it's you just have to write down, um, for example, Jimmy and Lisa have two babies, Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's, what? And Jimmy niece. is his nephew. Niece, how do you spell niece? N. N I I E E C C E. E, correct, e. C, E. So we check the answer and yes, you have it there, okay? So don't look at the rest. Now, um, <laughs> then you have the <laughs> video. We need that option. <laughs> yeah, I know you need that option. Voy a poner you can watch the video later. <laughs> so because of time, we're going to stop here. So. My advice for you is complete the, I mean, complete this, for example, this one that is 5.2 quickly. Uh, the 5.3 is the objective. You can watch a video. This is what we are going to study tomorrow. It's all about the present continuous. Um, I come from a big family, another conversation, the quantifier is another topic. And then we have the knowledge check that is like a mini test, right? And then the reading that is about the changing family. So that's all for today. Uh, time is up, okay? We have uh, some minutes extra right now, but I wanted to explain you that, okay? I wanted to explain you, explain that to you. So um, do you have any questions or comments, guys, about today, about this week, about tomorrow? This is the last week, right? This is the last week of the module, yes. So sadly, we're saying goodbye on Thursday.
Okay, so uh, no questions for today. Okay, perfect. So thank you so much guys for connecting. It was great to, to be sharing with you and I hope that you had enough opportunities to practice in the breakout rooms and in the group session here. So have a good night and take care of yourself guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.